just getting ready to make a tutorial on um, how to receive the standard output that's piped into your script. And I thought I'd stop and take a moment to talk more about uh, what we just went over and uh, having examples like this where you have a, a help uh, screen. So this isn't a big deal. We have two lines of text here. So it's okay to echo, you know, this program needs this and this program needs that. Uh, but let's say you wanted to have a help output that gave a lot of information. That's a lot of echo this, echo that. You can actually, and then if you want some of it indented and formatted, it's going to look funny. It's going to be hard to, to do. Um, but you can print multiple lines in a bash script by using cat. So let's go ahead and use that as an example. So again, I hope you watched the previous video. Uh, be sure to just check out my previous video to, to see that. Um, but here we're having, we're checking the, um, the user input and actually let's change this to less than. So we're looking for arguments and if it's less than two, uh, we're going to print out this help screen. So let's go ahead and change this. And first of all, let's put our help screen into a function just to keep things clean. Um, so I'm going to say function. Again, you don't have to type function when creating functions in bash scripts. I like to because I think it looks cleaner. And I was going to create a function called help for my script here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to now say cat. And then I'm going to say less than less than EOF. And really the EOF, it means end of file. Uh, but that can be, um, really you can put anything there. And then we're going to do EOF here. And I'm not going to indent that even though it looked better because I'm pretty sure it has to be EOF without any spaces for it to recognize that. Um, otherwise it's going to see those spaces and not realize it's the end of file. And now anything between this, I can type and it will print out to the screen when I call this function. So I can say help. You need to do something different. Um, I'm going to say usage, comma, uh, dollar sign zero, input one, input two, example, and I'm just making up a help file here, dollar sign zero, uh, Chris, John, I'll do another space here. Hope this helps. <laughs> My website, filmsbychris.com. So instead of doing echo this, echo that, uh, echo that, and this and that, and then we can have examples like option number one. And then we can go here example this. I'm just, again, making up random text here to show you how multiple lines of stuff uh, would work. Example that. Uh, hope output works. Random, random stuff. Okay, so now that we have that, now we can come up here and our when we're checking, what we can do is we can just call our help function. And that can be called uh, anywhere, anytime, and it will display that message. So let's go ahead and save this and run our main script. And again, if I go Chris, John, it'll print hello Chris and John. If I add Bob, it's still going to go Chris and John because we're only looking for two. But if I don't give it at least two arguments, now, oh, I did something wrong. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. Go back into our script here. Oh, I wonder, that shouldn't make a difference. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I think I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm calling the function before it's created. That's why I normally would do this. We're going to create a function main. This is our main function right here. We'll fix our indentation there uh, and really put this in here, and really I would normally put that uh, check in its own little check function. Uh, so yeah, it was trying to call the help, and so it was calling the bash help, uh, because my help doesn't exist, so now we go main. So I hope that makes sense. You can't call a function until it's been written. So since I called help up here, but help wasn't until down here in the script, it's like, well, I'm just going to call the standard bash help function. 
um, which may be a good reason for me to rename my function something else. Uh, but now that I've created a main function and a help function, and then I called the main function down here, it's it should work. Let's go ahead and run that. There we go. So again, if I do three names, I'm fine. Oh wait, no, if I did three names, it's still... Okay. Oh, okay, yes. Sorry, I'm going off on different things. I have to pass it all my variables. Because right now we're checking for the number of variables or arguments passed to this function. And we didn't pass any to it. But doing dollar sign at is passing all the arguments that pass to our script to that function. Sorry for the confusion. Hope I didn't throw you guys completely off. So now I can do hello Chris, hello John, Bob, uh, doesn't matter. But if I get less than two arguments, boom, it prints our help message here. And just showing you in a roundabout way that you can do cat EOF. And again, you should be able to do anything here. I can do EOD. I'm pretty sure this will work. EOD, you can see the color change once I did that. And it still works the same. EOF is just standard uh, because that's end of file. And so you're going to cat out everything given till the end of the file, which would be denoted there. Uh, so yeah, so that's how you can print multiple lines of text without doing echo this, echo that. And then when you have stuff that's indented like this, then you'd have to do echo, space, 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 blah, blah, blah. But here it's nice, simple, sweet. And uh, yeah, so that's how you can print multiple lines of text. Uh, I feel like I might have overcomplicated that with my mistake, but if you've done any type of shell scripts, I think you might argue, you might understand um, a little bit more of what I'm saying. And now I'm babbling. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this video wasn't complete crap. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hope you find it useful. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Link in the description. Check it out. Also check out my Patreon page and all that good jazz. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.